in a little bit. Um, I've been slowly but surely plucking away at this when I've got time. I work from home now, so I've been going through neatening this up, um, trying to make it look a little bit more presentable. Um, this thing now has six kilowatts commissioned on it, so I'm a little bit worried about. I've got to get the thermal gun out. Just double check that these cables here aren't getting too hot. They seem fine. The sun's just hidden away, which is a real shame because I was hoping to hoping to see this thing peaking. We're back down to 2.6. It was at 5.7, and this is a 5.8 kilowatt uh, charger. So, well, I think it peaks at that. Might be. You know what? That's a project. I might put those um, fans in there to sort of keep this thing cooler. Maybe we can get it to go above 5.8 if we can keep it cool enough. This one's still just got 4.4 on it. Um, I have that one's not currently doing anything. That one has got uh, was it three panels on it? I think maybe. Not even. Oh, the bloody cat. Anyway, what I actually um, came out here to check um, wasn't the charges so much. Um, we've got these three shelves all attached to this Lynx system here. Uh, and what that means is that there's different size cables. As, as much as I tried to keep them roughly the same length by adding a little bit of extra meat here, here and here. What it generally means is that... Um, the top shelves actually get more power into them than the bottom shelf. So I was really hoping to catch the uh, to catch the sunlight before it went away. But so this one's at 86%. This is I think it's the top shelf, is it? I think it is the top shelf, yeah. 86% it was getting 46 amps. The bottom one is 86%, but only getting 43.3 amps. So just that length of cable alone is enough to make it so that this bottom shelf actually gets slightly less than everything else. So what I've been making a point of is uh, coming in here occasionally, just checking them to make sure that um, they're actually all balanced. So this one's at 87, so that's the middle shelf. I need a new phone. And that's the top shelf. So the top two shelves are getting slightly more current in um, by default because there's less resistance um, on those charging cables than than the shelf at the bottom which means that if I do populate this other shelf at the bottom to go to uh, 120 kilowatts um, I'm gonna have to come up with a process to, to balance these things on a regular basis or potentially um, so we were seeing 260 amps before unfortunately it's not doing it now I've got a I did grab a uh, did grab a screenshot of it so I'll flash it up on the screen I was hoping to to catch it all while it was running, but I've missed it. Um, what I was considering, I think these things max out at about 290 consistent current. So like you could do bursts greater than that, but you probably wouldn't want to do that too much. I've got more of this cable. So what I'm thinking is I should sync these cables behind the board to make it look a little bit neater. And I will replace that screen at some point. Um, sync the cables in behind it, put a second set of cables on it have a second breaker here and I'll chuck another Lynx bus bar down there so that these two work as a pair and the bottom two work as a pair. Yeah, who knows. Anyway, I suppose that I missed my opportunity to show what I wanted to show, but um, I'll, f I'll flash up that peak on the screen anyway. It's nice to know that we're coming out of winter and we're soon to be in summer. This, uh, you can hear the fan kicking on on this every time those things ramp up. Um, I've only got, um, a couple of panels uh, on the inverter two, which is the second one in from the right, the end one and the middle one. Um, the other two are not populated anymore, so I'll have a video coming up shortly where I'm gonna move one of the Galvos, or maybe one of the Primos, actually I might do the Primos. I wanna try thin film panels versus uh, the normal panels. I'm gonna see if I can get some second hand ones from um, uh, Alttech, um, and I wanna do a comparison. I wanna see how they work if you mount them uh, into indirect light so on all my panels are actually on the roof now which is great but I've got three kilowatts a second and 250s here I've got a string six or seven 190s here I've got five or six uh, 370s and then I've got four more 370s so I'm going to take the four 370s off from over there transfer them onto the far side uh, transfer them onto the far side of my oh I'm pushing buttons how about don't do that huh yeah, I'm going to try, oh, we're back to 90 amps. Happy days, let's see. That's good timing. Oh, what have I done? Shelf three, so we'll get 90 into shelf one, 
How much are we getting into shelf? Only 80 into shelf three. Yeah, so that, there you go. That is what I was hoping to show, is that the resistance, um, those cables, it would be barely measurable if I put my multimeter on it because there's no current going through. So, oh, that's dropped down to 76 now as well. So it looks like they're leveling out. That, that's 62, 55. So, okay, so that shows it, right? If I was to put my multimeter on these longer cables, there would be more resistance, sorry, it would be immeasurable resistance because there's no current going through the cable. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, people would go, oh, yeah, but I measured from there to there and there to there and, you know, there to there. It's the same resistance. Yeah, it's the same resistance when there's no current going through it. But um, when there's current going through it, it, it's not the same anymore. So that longer cable, the higher the current gets, the more resistance there will be. And because it's traveling a longer distance, that's not ideal. So I've been considering this. Maybe I fucked up here as well and I shouldn't have put such long cables on. The other option was I don't need this thing to be anywhere near as big as it is. So what I could do is theoretically, give them the old choppy choppy just there and put a new base on it. And I could have two racks that are small and I could put one down here maybe. And then I could put a workbench across there. Hey, how good would that be? I could put my 3D printers there if I cut this rack enough. But it is a lot of work to chop that rack up. I've got to disassemble that battery. And the last time I did that, I had some problems, I stripped some thread off one of these, which is why this bus bar is uh, is one line in where the rest of them, it's on the outside. Anyway, whatever, that's that's all I was hoping to show today, is uh, I wanted to catch that resistance issue that I'm seeing. Anyway, hopefully the sun comes back out. Um, I will carry on pulling new cables and neatening this up as best I can. Um, there's breakers everywhere now, how good is that? That one's finished. She's all good. This is the next one to go. Um, these ones are routed to this, but they're not, there's nothing actually commissioned on it. So oh, I should just pull my finger out and get it done, eh?